What is up my fellow YouTube family, friends, and gamers? This is Swift and welcome to the world of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on PC. The footage you're seeing here is my takedown of La Dama Negra, the level 75 Man of War legendary ship. It took me a few tries to get this thing down. Uh, the key to this fight is to attack in the right spot. This enemy is weak in the rear, so you're going to want to blast away at the back end of the ship. That's the only way that you're really going to take it down before it takes you down. And even then, it's a challenge. So I start off firing mortars early, and I try to get up close and take out that ass. So uh, anyways, uh, let me talk a little bit about Black Flag, because um, this is the first video I've put on my channel of this game. I'm not a huge Assassin's Creed fan. I've only played the first game, and I only played about a quarter of the way through it. And I had some glitches on the PC version with my map, and I stopped playing the game. I really enjoyed it, and I, I thought the series in itself was a pretty good series, but for some reason I just never got into it. Until Black Flag. This is the first Assassin's Creed game I've played since Part 1. And I, I love this game so far. It's, it's an amazing game. It's not without its faults. It does have several faults. Um, you know, the combat system is a bit weak at times. A lot of times you feel like you're just waiting to dodge and counter an enemy, other than just trying to straight up attack them. Also, I find in the, um, the story missions, although they're pretty good story-wise, I mean, some of the content, some of the stuff they ask you to do is just ridiculously repetitive. I mean, I'm only less than halfway through the story of the game, and I don't want to explain to you how many times I've had to fucking tail a person. Follow this guy, follow this guy, follow that guy. You know, I'm tired of fucking following people. I think that is annoying, and I think it makes the uh, side quest in this game a lot more entertaining and exciting than the main quest itself, just because of all these fucking tailing missions, you know? Follow this guy, hide from this guy, assassinate this guy. I mean, it's pretty repetitive so far, story-wise. story, story -wise. Um, But besides that, I think overall the game is amazing, and it's one of my favorite games of all time. I mean, I'm going to say in the top 25 of all time, I'm going to put it up there for now. Now, I haven't finished the game yet. That could dramatically change. Today I was raging my ass off on some of these main quest missions, but um, I still think it's a solid game and it is one of the best games definitely in the Assassin's Creed series and one of the best games of all time in my opinion, definitely um, for now. Um, that could change, but at this point I'm just highly amazed with this game and, and I think that it was beautifully put together, beautifully created, and, and the pirate world is officially fully realized in this game. I mean, it's just pretty freaking awesome, but I, I think it's more of a pirate game than an Assassin's Creed game, and, and I think that's probably why I like it so much, but I could also see why that might turn off some of the more serious Assassin's Creed fans, because it seems when they go back to the basics, that's the part of the game that I don't like. That's the shit that I'm not too excited about. But when you get to the naval combat, and you get to upgrading the Jackdaw, and, and using the uh, minigame Kenway's Fleet, and stuff like that, that's what really drives this game home for me. So. I mean, I can see where my opinions would be completely laughable to more serious Assassin's Creed fans. However, I think even if you're not an Assassin's Creed fan and you've overlooked this game, you're, you're doing yourself a severe injustice and you should go out and pick it up. I mean, the PC version is, is a beautiful version of it. Um, I don't really know what the specs of the, the PlayStation 4 version and the Xbox One version run at, but I'm getting nearly maxed out graphical settings and I'm getting 30 to 60 frames per second. Um, so that is pretty impressive considering that uh, the game has only been out for you know around a month now, if that. So for them to have it running that smoothly so fast, in my opinion, is, is really good. And a lot of people say this game's not optimized, but it's ran beautifully on my console and my system. So no, I haven't been able to completely max out anti-aliasing and all that shit and still get a smooth frame rate. But you know, I don't expect to be able to do that. And if, if I can in the future, that'll be awesome. But right now, I think this game is optimized very well when you can compare it to other games on the PC of late, like uh, the Batman fucking Arkham City, which to me was a fucking total waste on the PC. And to this day still isn't fucking completely optimized to the point where it doesn't fucking freeze every, you know, couple minutes. And it's just annoying um, that that game was actually ruined because of the PC experience for me, where this game, you know, the PC experience is only making it better for me. Also, I'm playing with the PlayStation 4 controller, uh, which you can plug directly into your PC and instantly have automatic support um, via the Assassin's Creed 4 uh, game. So, of course, it's showing the Xbox 360 buttons, but, you know, being that I've been a console gamer for so long, I really don't, it doesn't bother me at all. When it says B, B in circle to me, I know where that fucking button is, so it doesn't, it doesn't confuse me in any way. So, anyways, here's the Rogue Tornado at the end of the fight, and, um... 
there may be some more Assassin's Creed videos on the channel if you guys like this. Let me know, and I'll uh, consider putting up some more stuff. I was actually impressed how well Fraps recorded this today. I didn't have any frame rate drops whatsoever beyond the normal while recording the game. So that's uh, some great news if you guys do like the footage. Uh, anyways, thanks a lot for watching this. I hope you liked the video. If I talk too much, I'm sorry, but I wanted to explain my take and my opinions on this series, considering it's the first time that it's appeared on my channel. Anyways, thanks so much, and stay tuned to Gaming with Swift.